Hello and a very warm welcome. You're watching our election special verdict 2014. Let us begin by taking a look at the headlines. Election Commission disallows the use of government-run vehicles for election advertisements, says parties in power can use it to their advantage. Despite parting ways, the NCP says the Congress is not a political adversary, reiterates that Shiv Sena and BJP are the party's main political rivals. Fallout of the Shiv Sena BJP breakup at the centre, Union's Heavy Industries Minister Anand Gita is set to resign after Modi returns from the United States. And calling it an attempt to unite the Janta Parivar, Janta Dal United and Indian National Local agree to contest jointly in Haryana. Election Commission has uh, ruled against allowing the display of election advertisements on government transport buses, saying that the party in power can use it to its advantage and that it will disturb the level playing field. Under Article 324, the election watchdog has already directed that the state road transport corporation buses and the buses owned by the municipal corporation and other government-owned vehicles will not be allowed to display political advertisements during the period when the model code is in force. An election official uh, said, and I say, uh, quote, in these cases, it will not be practically possible to ensure equitable sharing of space for the purpose of advertisements, both in terms of the quality as well as uh, for particular bus routes through crowded area and those uh, going through less crowded places, quote, unquote. Meanwhile, terming the recent uh, Lok Sabha polls as the first innings, Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh has said uh, in the second knock, the BJP's target is to form governments in all states. In a function in Lucknow, Rajnath Singh said if BJP gets a chance to remain in power for 10 years, it will make India a superpower. He said, and I quote him, Lok Sabha elections were the first innings in which we receive astounding success. Now in the second innings, the target is to form governments in all states, quote unquote. Well, political campaigning for the forthcoming assembly polls in Maharashtra and Haryana has picked up. With about a fortnight to go for the elections, the leaders have hit the campaign trail in these two states. BJP President Amit Shah and Haryana Chief Minister Bhupinder Singh Hooda addressed rallies to voters. In Maharashtra, MNS Chief Raj Shakre has criticized the BJP for severing ties with Shiv Sena. Haryana Chief Minister Bhupendra Singh Hooda is seeking a third term when the state goes to polls on 15th of October. Contesting from Rotak, Hooda has hit the campaign trail over the weekend. On Monday, he addressed a rally in Karnas Tarauri. Continuing his tirade against INLD Chief Om Prakash Jotala and BJP, Hooda in short to focus on farmers' issue. He questioned the previous BJP and INLD government's achievements regarding development. किसान और मजदूर और गरीब और मध्यवर्ती लोगों की हितेशी नहीं हो सकती छोटे दुकानदार की हितेशी नहीं हो सकती ये तो बड़े-बड़े धन्नाटों की पार्टी BJP President Amit Shah also launched his party campaign in Haryana's Tohana on Monday. Speaking at the rally, he said that his party could ensure development with its government at the center. He evoked Prime Minister Narendra Modi's development plan to woo voters. BJP is looking to exploit its good show in the last Lok Sabha polls in the state. However, its split with Haryana Janhit Congress may have an impact on its chances. Maharashtra Nav Nirman Sena Chief Raj Thakre criticized BJP for parting ways with Shiv Sena. Speaking at a rally in Mumbai on Sunday night, he said the former Sena Chief Bal Thakre would have ended the alliance much earlier. Thakre said that Uddhav should immediately ask Shiv Sena's man in Modi's cabinet, Anant Gite, to resign as a mark of protest. 
आणि शिवसेनेच्या बाबतीत ते कर्णालाच होते असं मला त्यांच्यातलीच लोक अगोदरपासून सांगत होती की आम्हाला युती करायचीच नाही आहे आम्हाला हे नकोच आहे शिवसेना नाही कळलं उद्धवला नाही कळलं शेवटपर्यंत लाचार नाही ठेवलात तुम्ही मी जर त्या ठिकाणी असतो ना एक महिन्यापूर्वी लाच मारून गेलो असतो यांना सगळ्यांना Thakre also said that one of the first issues he would address if voted to power is affordable homes for people who stays in hutments or on rent. He also alleged that during the last 15 years the Congress NCP government failed to provide good roads, water and electricity to the people of Maharashtra. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. Well, let us get you all the election news from Maharashtra. Well, nomination papers of as many as 6,494 candidates uh, in the fray for assembly polls in Maharashtra were found valid after scrutiny yesterday. In all, 1,152 nominations uh, were rejected. The total number of candidates who filed nominations uh, for, for, from 288 assembly constituencies was 7,646. In Kudal, all nine candidates were found valid. Similarly, in Kolapur North, uh, all 20 candidates who filed their papers remain in the fray. Now, there was uh, no rejection of papers in uh, Chandgarh too, where uh, nomination papers of all 39 candidates were found valid after scrutiny. However, senior leader and spokesperson of NCP, Ankush Kakade's nomination was, uh, as a candidate was declared invalid after scrutiny. Now, Kakade's nomination was rejected as he had missed a adding a mandatory election affidavit to his nomination forms. Now, Kakade, who is considered a close confidant of NCP chief Sharad Pawar, missed the 3 p.m. deadline on Saturday to submit the affidavit in time. The rejection of uh, Kakade's uh, nomination uh, papers for the prestigious uh, Kasaba Pate seat has uh, assumed a political hue as it was subsequently left uh, Deepak Mankar as uh, the NCP candidate in the fray. The seat is currently held by BJP's Girish Papad. All right, uh, let's uh, get uh, more on this story. Uh, Rajkumal, uh, in fact, Rao is now joining us uh, for more on this. Uh, Rajkumal, uh, what are the updates uh, that you can give us uh, on this? Uh, Aishwarya, the election commission has uh, put in place a lot of severe measures this time. Even advertising in government uh, vehicles is banned this time. Because Maharashtra elections have always uh, uh, seen hectic campaign and political parties, including all political leaders, have tried to influence voters and woo voters considering their uh, muzzle power and money power. Because it's a crucial uh, uh, state for both the Congress and BJP and Shiv Sena and NCP. And every political party will try to woo the voters. So election commission's every decision to control money power and muscle power will be crucial. So all the decisions that you, that you have been witnessing in the last two days are in fact a result of that, Aishwarya. Right. Uh, Rajkumal, also very interesting is the fact that now with the, the major two alliances are breaking apart, it is said that it is going to be anybody's game now. Uh, but what are the strategies really for the respective parties? What numbers are they really looking at? Uh, see, it's a 288 seat assembly. So... It, uh, it's impossible for a single political party to get the minimum support that is required to be uh, to form the government. So it's uh, very evident that whether it is BJP or Shiv Sena or NCP Congress, they will have to look for allies. Smaller parties are there, but they cannot win. Uh, uh, historically, they have not win anything beyond 20 seats. So for every political party, keeping their options open is crucial. So you can think of the kind of alliances that can form once the elections are finished. The BJP and Shiv Sena, who were partners for 25 years, now they are no more partners. NCP and Shiv Sena, NCP and and Congress is the same case. So, but NCP, you have seen, they are saying that BJP and Shiv Sena are their main opponents, but Congress can be a post polar ally. So, these kind of indications generally give voters a, a sign that NCP and Congress may go for a post polar alliance. But as of now, on the ground, every political party will be fighting each other. So, voters are a bit in confused state, Ashwarya. Right. Uh, Rajkumar, also, uh, you mentioned about the fact that there might be some poll, uh, post poll al alliances here. But speaking about BJP and uh, Shiv Sena, it is said that there was a 
strong anti incumbency in the state and and it's just that probably bjp and shiv sena became uh, really greedy for the chief minister's post how are you looking at it uh, Aishwarya, the anti-incumbency factor, in fact, worked really well in Lok Sabha elections, even though it was Lok Sabha not meant for any kind of anti-incumbency factor at the state level, but BJP and Shiv Sen and other allies, they could garner out of these anti-incumbency. It's a 15 years old anti-incumbency because BJP and Shiv Sena were in power in 90s. After Balasab Thakre started his political party, Shiv Sena, then it is for the first time that BJP and Shiv Sena are going to fight against each other. So anti-incumbency vote, which was supposed to go to this alliance, will now get divided into other political parties, like NCP is also cutting votes. So Every political party will cut into votes of other parties. So, kind of anti-incumbency factor which was supposed to benefit BJP Shiv Sena Alliance may now get divided. So, categorically, these political parties will now be focusing on their stronghold seats and not cut the votes of Shiv Sena or BJP. Then, they may look for a post-polar alliance. But as on ground, it's not the sign. Right, uh, Rajkumal, you stay with us. Uh, we'll keep coming back to you for more on that story. Meanwhile, despite uh, parting ways uh, with the Congress after a partnership of 15 years, the NCP says that its uh, former partner is not a political adversary. NCP senior leader Sunil Tatkare, in fact, reiterated that Shiv Sena and BJP were the party's main political rivals. Tatkare also rejected allegations from the Congress leadership that there is a hidden pact between his party and the BJP. He said uh, that the the fact that the NCP allied with the Congress after 1999 shows its commitment to secularism. He, however, refrained from predicting whether there would be a post-poll alliance with the Congress this time as well. But Tatkare disapproved of former Maharashtra Chief Minister Prithvi Rajavan's criticism that Ajit Pawar's ambitions cost the 15-year-old alliance. And the bitter breakup between the Shiv Sena and the BJP has had its fallout at the centre, with Union Heavy Industries Minister Anand Gite set to resign from Narendra Modi's cabinet. Four days after the alliance broke up, Shiv Sena clarified that Gite, the only Sena minister in the NDA government, will put in his papers. Now, party chief Udhav Thakre said that after Narendra Modi returns from the United States, Gite will meet him and submit his resignation. Earlier, Udhav's cousin and MNS chief Raj Thakre had ridiculed Sena for clinging to power at the centre. Meanwhile, BJP distanced itself from the decision, saying that they had not demanded Gite's resignation. The 25-year-old alliance between Shiv Sena and the BJP had ended last week following two weeks of intense parleys over seat sharing for the Maharashtra Assembly polls. Narendra Modi, Narendra Modi Ala Nantar, Ananta Gita Tanchakari Zakim, Ani Tanchata, Rajana Madi. Kiova, Jani Amsa Vishwas got Kilila, to Tumala Vishwas Kasaka Dushu, to Tanchoti Vishwas Kasatu Mitusata, Malasota, Havichar Sarani Karalapai, Havichar Karalpai, Prashna Shabdas and Vishwasa. Pradhan Mantrika Lotne Keba, Anand Gite, Jonke, Bharat Sarkarme Mantri, who is Tifa de Denge. यदि उन्होंने ऐसा कहा है यदि वो ऐसा चाहते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि ये उनका निर्णय है लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी की तरफ से ऐसी कोई मांग नहीं की गई थी All right let's go back to my colleague Raj Kamal Rao who's now joining us uh, Raj Kamal now it is very interesting what congress has said it is saying that NCP is not really an uh, an uh, uh, problem but it is uh, the BJP and Shiv Sena who are the real competitors obviously it is a little bit pointing uh, to a post poll alliance that might happen uh, but at the same time uh, it is being said that Congress parting now with the NCP was not a great idea considering the fact that neither of them have uh, the possibility of uh, gaining a majority on their own. Uh, Ashwara, it's a, it's a, uh, in fact, it's a theory case because Congress and NCP, they share the same ideology. In fact, NCP is a cutaway from Congress. Sharad Pawar uh, left Congress and formed NCP. Uh, when it comes to right-wing parties like BJP and Shiv Sena, they also share similar, similar ideologies. So it's very difficult for them to uh, look partner in the other side of the fence. So NCP criticizing Congress for the sake of criticizing is purely because of the political benefits. But when you talk about post poll allies, they are the natural allies for Congress party. Same with BJP and Shiv Sena. So Anand Gita is resigning and Shiv Sena linking it to Prime Minister Modi's visits and all, they all, you know, interconnected. So every political party on the on the both side of the fences are looking for partners after post poll. So fact of the matter is they all realize that on their own they cannot form government in Maharashtra because it's 280 seats. 
If you right. look at the geography of Maharashtra, every political party has a strong base in every region. Mm -hmm. uh, Vidarbha region, Congress, Marathwada, NCP, and Konkan region, BJP, and Shiv Sena. So every political party know their strongholds, but when it comes to their weak assembly constituencies, they need partners, Aishwarya. Absolutely. And Raj Kamal, uh, what is also going to be a real uh, problem uh, for the NCP is the fact that many of their uh, strong leaders, of uh, free leaders of uh, strong stretcher have in fact in the last one month left the party and they have either joined uh, Sena or the BJP. Uh, rebel candidates are going to be a major concern for Congress and NCP because uh, they have seen the ground and they have realized the ground. They think uh, the wave is in favor of uh, Shiv Sena, BJP, and so a lot of leaders have uh, left NCP and Congress and they have, some of those leaders have joined Shiv Sena and BJP. In fact, uh, yesterday 200 uh, Congress rebel candidates have joined BJP cadre. So a uh, cadre means they bring in a lot of uh, people who are supporters because Congress and NCP enjoy traditional cadres in Marathwada and uh, uh, Vidarbha region. So on, on these regions where VJ, BJP is a party so it will turn in their favor but fact of the matter is uh, is it important for BJP to depend on rebel candidates who actually left Congress party because the party is on the other side of the fence they were enjoying power for the last 15 years so is it how BJP and Shiv Sena are going to handle these rebel candidates will impact and at the same time NCP is trying and testing their waters because they had an edge over Lok Sabha polls uh, when it compa when they compared to Congress party but they were a smaller party in the assembly so when they withdrew power uh, uh, Prithvira Chavan had to resign so in NCP is testing the waters, whether they have a uh, very strong base or not. If they have a strong base, they want to expand beyond Congress and they want they don't want any brotherly support because that's what the NCP leaders made it clear that they want chief minister chief ministership for the, for the at least two years once the Congress mm -hmm. and NCP-led government is formed. So every political party is trying to uh, right. estimate their own ground realities, Ashwarya. Right. Uh, thank you, Raj Kamal, for all those uh, details uh, there with the, all the poll. In fact, alliances are falling apart. It is anybody's game in Maharashtra now. Meanwhile, Raigarh district in Maharashtra is just a short drive away from the hustle and bustle of India's business capital, Mumbai. It boasts of, uh, some of the popular weekend getaways for Mumbai cars. Well, despite being a part of uh, Konkan district where NCP and uh, uh, Shetkari Kamgar uh, Paksha have a strong hold, so Shiv Sena stands a good chance this time to win the seven seats at stake here. We take a look at what to expect from the district once uh, ruled by Chhatrapati Shivaji. Raigarh district was named after the Raigarh fort which was the capital of Maratha empire. Chhatrapati Shivaji rebuilt this fort and ruled over his entire kingdom from this hilltop in the Shaidri mountains. The district headquarter Alibagh boasts of the tomb of Kanoji Angre, the naval admiral of Shivaji's empire which controlled the entire western coast from Surat to Kohin. The district also has the Jawaharlal Nehru port which is the largest cargo container port in the country. With a strong legacy of Maratha culture and history, the district is expected to witness a strong contest from the regional parties like Shetkari Kamgar Paksh. The party had won three out of the seven seats in the 2009 assembly polls. NCP won two, Shiv Sena and Congress won one each. However, in the Lok Sabha elections, Shiv Sena's Anand Gite has been elected for a second straight time this year. Despite his margin reduced drastically this year, Shiv Sena could be a force to reckon with. This district has been a stronghold of the SKP and the NCP. But this time, the people returned a Shiv Sena MP. So the expectations are that the Shiv Sena may do well this time. Amritan Shura, Raj Sabha TV. कामगार पक्ष फमगार कस का क्या नहीं और एनसीपी एनसीपी का कुछ नहीं एनसीपी का होता तो तटकरे साहब क्यों भाग जाते थे मैदान छोड़ के अगर हिम्मत होती तो उन्होंने उधर से चुनाव लड़ना चाहिए था ना लेकिन उन्होंने इतने घोटा ले किए है उनको पता है इसलिए वो पहला ही मैदान छोड़ के गए जस्ट डेज बिफोर द पोल्स द टू बिग अलायसेज ऑफ द बीजेपी शिवसेना एंड कांग्रेस एनसीपी व कॉल्ड ऑफ with all four deciding to go alone, the smaller parties feel they can earn some bargaining power by winning its strongholds. That is why SKP is focusing more on the issues related to farmers and labourers to attract more votes. And जिस तरह से अभी तक जो पंद्रह साल में काम चला है, उसमें 
किसानों के बारे में जो राजनीति की अर्थनीति की वो सब गलत की ईच स्टेट में सिंचन का जो प्रॉब्लम है वो बहुत बड़ा है द बीच इज इन रायगढ़ अट्रैक्ट लोकल टूरिस्ट फ्रॉम बोथ मुंबई एंड पुणे ahead of the elections the district administration is gearing up to check flow of liquor and muscle par we have formed the flying squads and static surveillance team and video surveillance team we have deployed police personnel at every check post and each and every vehicle is being watched and inspected by police to control the movement of money About 100 kilometers from the former Maratha Empire seat of power is the Murud Jhanjira fort the only frontier Shivaji failed to conquer despite several attempts it remains to be seen how the regional parties fare this time with a changed political equation Amritan Shurai for Rajya Sabha TV from Raigad Maharashtra All right we'll take a very short break here coming up ahead we'll get you all the news from the election bound state of Haryana stay with us Welcome back after the break let us now get you all the election news from Haryana Well after the scrutiny of nomination papers in Haryana a total of 1565 candidates remain in the fray for the assembly polls slated for 15th of October the chief electoral officer of the state said that among the candidates 1403 are male contestants during scrutiny 360 nominations were rejected no candidates would be able to withdraw their candidature by 1st of October after which the final picture of the total candidates in the fray will be clear About 1.61 crore people are eligible to cast vote in the polls and 16244 uh, pol polling stations would be set up in the state. In the assembly elections of 5 years ago Congress had won 40 seats INLD 31 BJP 4 HJC BL 6 SAD and BSP 1 each and 7 seats had gone to independents. All right uh, my colleague uh, Ravindra Singh uh, Shiron is now joining us on the phone line uh, for more details on this story Ravindra now with the multi cornered contest uh, really happening in Haryana this time what is the strategy that uh, every party is looking at Yes yeah, you are right that this is uh, the first time after many years we have seen multi uh, cornered contest in Haryana uh, also the very important which we should Uh, learn in this election is that this is a very important and historical election for her first election when there is no lal is directly participating no lal mean uh, ma has three stars you know bhajan lal uh, bansi lal and chaudhary devi lal uh, no one of them is now participating all of them uh, 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 we have seen the demise last year of uh, chaudhary bhajan lal after that this, uh, though there are a lot of bpl families in haryana but there is no kachcha uh, house is visible so there is no roti kapra matan type issues in this election there is no issue of uh, bsp that is a bijli sadak and pani the people in haryana are now agitated to because of the uh, poor land acquisition policy of the government mm -hmm. the right. opposition is accusing the huda government for favoritism to the home town rural but as well as the campaign uh, in the election has started in the this is in first yesterday the national president of the bjp of the public rallies in the state after mm -hmm. his return from you as a pm uh, narendra modi is also expected to address uh, around 10 rallies in the uh, different uh, constituencies of haryana All right uh, thank you so much Ravindra uh, my colleague was joining us uh, from Hirsar and um, well moving a step closer towards uh, uh, the unification really of uh, the old uh, Janata Parivar JDU and INLD has decided to go together in Haryana assembly elections Well JDU president Sharad Yadav announced the decision saying that both parties have had a good relation since the time of Chaudhary Devi Lal on 15th of, uh, in fact 5th of September JDU leaders had attended a rally organized by INLD to mark the 100th birth anniversary of the former deputy prime minister in Jind well the coming together of these parties coincides with the similar efforts of uh, bringing on board the splinter groups which are political signi significant really in other states
Anil, uh, campaigning is picking up pace in Haryana. Parties and candidates are making promises and allegations in individual consti constituencies. Now, Vishal Dahiya takes stock of the issues and the candidates in one of them, the Sony Bath Assembly constituency in Haryana. Take a look. Located nearly 50 kilometers from Delhi, Sonipat is part of the national capital region and although it is connected by National Highway 1, the district headquarters is a good 8 kilometers off the highway. Sonipat Assembly constituency is one of the six seats in this district. 90% of its area falls within the city limits, which is why election issues here also reflect prominent urban concerns like bad roads and sewerage. Despite the fact that the present government has been in power for two terms, people credit it with having accomplished work in the city. Candidates of all three major political parties including the Congress, the INLD and the BJP blame each other for the lack of basic amenities in the city. ना तो सरकारी नौकरियां मिल पाई और ना ही प्राइवेट नौकरियां मिल पाई क्योंकि अगर ज्यादा ज्यादा उद्योग धंधे लगेंगे तो लोगों को रोजगार मिलता जो कि यहां पर नहीं हो पाया पिछले पांच साल विधायक था या बीजेपी का उसे काम की तरफ तो ध्यान दिया नहीं खाली विरोध की तरफ ध्यान दिया मेन आदमी होता है हल्के का विधायक वो काम की तरफ ना ध्यान दे सिर्फ वो करता रहे अपोजिशन करता रहे अपने आप को चमकाने के लिए तो काम कैसे होगा मैं दावे के साथ कह सकती हूं कि सोनीपत के जन जन की कोई भी ऐसी समस्या नहीं है जिसके बारे में हमें ना पता हो और हमने उसको पूरा करने के प्रयास ना किए Despite the chief minister terming this as his second home, the people of Sonipat Assembly constituency have a usual list of complaints which include lack of basic amenities and a painfully slow pace of development. This assembly segment also has a knack for going against the tide when it comes to electoral politics. Those watching the political developments closely in the area feel this has been one of the reasons behind the slow pace of development. موسیقی तो स्वाभाविक रूप से ऐसा है कि बीजेपी क्योंकि विधायक बीजेपी का था था यहाँ पे इस वजह से उस गति से जिस वक्त एक्सपेक्ट की जा से की जा रही थी कि विकास होंगे तो वो नहीं हो पाया। Industry representatives in the city also say the fault is with the lack of long-term planning. With three main candidates from parties that are each fancying their chances and the voters confronting them with a long list of complaints, a close contest seems to be certain here. With camera person Junaid, Vishal Daya's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Well, that's all uh, in this edition of uh, Verdict 2014. Thanks for watching.